Hey there everybody, welcome to Outliers Gaming, I am Bombong4, and today we have Yu-Gi-Oh! Master of Redemption, episode 22. This is a big episode, this is the last episode of the old format episode. I, I, I honestly can't believe 23 is right around the corner. And because of that, big changes are coming to the series. Alright, so honestly, let's get to it. Last episode we went 1 and 3, that means one comment gets a craft, the top line comment gets a craft, Another comic gets to slide 10 secret star selection packs to open, and I get three crafts for the losses. Now, okay, important here. We are 6 out of 10 out of our regular win count. With 10 wins, we unlock another 10 secret selection packs. We have 6, so if we win all 4 tools today, we can do it. Uh, honestly, let's go to the deck. This is the deck we played with, whoop, this time. This is last episode's deck. All right, things will change. But I want to get to the crafts because there's some big ones. All right, Patreon. All right, Urza decided to craft Borload Savage Dragon. This is a big craft and it helps the deck immensely. Basic non finish. Uh, we do not get a free pull through Shot Through Fiction, but still, this is a big pull and immediately can be slotted in. And would will be exceptionally helpful um, to the deck, um, especially seeing we will be using losing Hulk in six days time from now. So yeah, but we do have Borlod Savage. I think at this point I will just quickly take out Brianak and throw in Borlord just so it's saved. But that's not all. All right, guys. So going to the top like comments, okay? Sing Kun Chu decided that the craft here would be Mirror Jade, the Ice Spy Dragon. Now, this isn't useful right now, but it will be later. But having a Mirror Jade is big. All right, guys, going from there, the other top like comment was to open 10 secret selection packs. That was Smog UKA choosing the Ultra Live Trend pack. Well, just so we can do this, we'll get to my crafts in that pack in a minute. We have some other packs to open. Going to the shop. Okay, guys, we are going to go to, oh, by the way, I completed uh, the, for the solo. We're running out of them, guys. Honestly, we don't have many left. Just do a solo recap. Um, there's a few that only have one left. Digital Bugs, Colossal Mechanical Conch, Fairies Pain, rather, Herald's Guidance, and the SP Challenge to all that stuff. I just completed Punter Patrol. That's all that stuff there. That's a quick recap. Whatever. All right, going here. So we have 10 master packs traditionally. All right, we do have some legacy packs here. We have 20 of them that we're going to open in sets of 10. So we'll get to that. Then we're going to go from here, guys, and open some master packs. From there, after the master packs, we will open Alto's Live Trend. But one of my crafts actually unlocks that. So we'll do that. Luster Dragon, hello. I still imagine a normal monster slash like era based one. Zira the Mat. Wow. Wait, was Zira already always called that? Hold on. Fluence Dragon? Hmm. Looks like a wannabe Stardust. It's like a cosplayer who didn't, um... Why do I feel like Zero the Mat had a different name? In Ridge Battle Ox, yo, that's not bad. Burglar. I don't know why did I, I don't know why. I feel like Zero the Mat had a different name. Whatever. Oh, card shuffle and elemental hero Electrum. Not bad. I mean, there's not a ton we could pull out of here that'll be helpful, but guys, we'll be pulling some cool stuff. Four star Ladybug Dune, Maiden of the Aqua. I loved Maiden of the Aqua. I'm not gonna lie. Like the Trident's cool. I love blue hair. Like, honestly, she was one of my favorite cards. I tried to play her. She wasn't great. But, you know, you have to play with the white foods when you can. Photon Generator and Mystic Fox. Hey. I do wish they would update these or do a, a tournament with just these packs. Vendral Servants and Feud Field. Like, make it so you, people can't craft the cards, but you have to actually play them. Spear Dragon and Kotodama. Spear Dragon's not bad. I don't know if I made Kotodama super. Tenma, the Sky Star, and League of Uniform, non. 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 I'm not even gonna say it. Nomenclature. Oh my god, I couldn't speak. 
All right, and moving on to the second batch. We're going to try to move on with these as quick as possible. Gorgon egg attacking her. Yo. Moving on from here. Guys, I'm super excited after this opening uh, master pack to pull something. Machina, Deep Sea Warrior. Because I want to save my crafts. I have the crafts in my head. We have three crafts, guys. And remember, we can all oh, raid wrapper Napalm Dragonus. That thing's cool looking. I've never seen that card. Or, there we go. Um, but yeah, no. Um, when it comes down to it, guys, the three crafts have to be one of H. Numerous Ayla. Nice. She ends for its soldier. Um, have to be one monster spell trap or extract monster. We can only do one of each. So that actually limits us, but I want to open the master packs first because if the card I'm going to craft actually gets pulled, because these crafts are special crafts, then I want to make sure I change my craft. So. Jane, Light Swan, Paladin, and Big Wave, Small Wave. Um, so if my craft does get changed, you'll probably see me go, Oh, well, I have to think of another one and stall for time. Kaiser Coliseum, yo, in Unicycler. That's cool. Hey, I'll take a Kaiser Coliseum. It's not a bad card. Ritual Weapon and Flame Manipulator. And last pack, can we end this with something big before we get to those Master Packs? Reverse trap, okay, and dragon manipulator. We have flame manipulator, and we have dragon manipulator. Okay, we're backing out of here, guys. We're gonna go to norm packs. Ten master packs. Let's do it. Can we pull something big? Oh, four supers, one ultra. I just I would love to pull something so amazing that it like sparks something. Oh, danger thunderbird, great shogun shien, dark miss, quick changer, empowerment. Vampire Familiar, Black Dragon Ninja, and Boom Pauline. <laughs> what? The? I have a feeling that's a uh, Zexal era card. Uh, Ignite Crusader, Star Staring Starling, Link Turret, Constellar, Passive uh, Mystic, Thunder Speed Summon, and Mutually Afford Destruction. Okay. I'm just, I, I don't know guys, I'm hoping for something so special that like it makes you want to do something. Form of Alcorn, GNX Ally, Durdok, Evil Branch, Cosmo, Realm, Brainwash, Proxy Dragon, and Supercharge. Alright, here we go, Super Pack, come on. Like a staple or something that inspires something. Ghost Trick Go Around, Neospatian Pathfinder, Buzzsaw Shark, Ignition Phoenix, TG Star Guardian, Small World. That's an interesting card. Goki face turn and oh, that's oh no, that's Cap uh, Capricornia, uh, I think it is. Oh, two ultras. Okay, Heretic Dragon of Aesir, Fire King Island, Confronting the Sea, Bonnie D D H O, Legendary Exodian Incarnate, Match Spectre Cyclone. Our first ultra is Masked Hero Dark Law. Technically, we could play heroes at some point. And Crystal Beast Rainbow. No, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. I love the Crystal Beast. But no, not useful. A Dragon Maid, Raphion, Junk Sleep, Vampire Ghost, Flash Fusion, Odd Eye Synchron, that's interesting, Sonic Chick, and Despot 04. Small World is definitely an interesting pull because it does have some utility, I guess. Reese the Wilds of Five, Funny Patriarch, Motronic Monotron, Eurobell, Stairway, Zalk, Volcanic, and Oshama. Okay. Pack number eight. I know, I'm just hoping for a poll that inspires, you know. Here we go. Judge of the Ice Bearer, Necrot Synchron, DDD Human Resources, Stained Graves, Aurora, Worm, Real Prophecy, and Shark Fortress. Whoa, wait, hold on. I think it doesn't look like a shark, though. Couldn't you have called it, like... Like, I guess it's holding a sh the, sh uh, the other carrier, but it's like, yeah, I don't know. Doesn't quite look like it, unless it's a whale shark, we call it whale shark carrier. Blackwing, Chris the Crack of Dawn, Real Prophecy, Vampire's Desire, Superhero, Mathic, Koki, Creature, Ghost Trick. Pack number 10. Can we see something big and close? I have to say, Small World is not a bad pull. Why? Like, nothing else has really super stood out for me. We, Small World's big. Pun Patrol Party. It's kind of interesting to pull this after completing the Pun Patrol. Singy, She Ends Daredevil, X Saber Galahad, Rose Girl, Hydro Get On D Chain, and Interrupter Resistor. When you take damage, damage special summon this with you against attack, you could damage you took. Turn doing damage. Either. Interesting. 
that's not bad. It's a little slow, though. All right, guys. So we didn't unlock the pack. The one we need to go into. So this may seem kind of weird. Okay. So we're going to go back in here. So for my first craft, we have to unlock the altar's live train. Right? So if we go look at Altergeist, right? We are missing a Memorigant, which is big. We could always craft the second Multi-Faker, which would be extremely helpful. We are still missing another personal spoofing. What is it? There it is. Still missing a personal spoofing. Um, and we do need more Marionetters. So here's the question. Do I go this? Now, the Live Twin... Um, actually maybe i should just type in twin that shouldn't cause a lot of problems that causes a lot of problems okay uh yeah so trouble sunny is something craft doesn't unlock the pack though but it is an option when we look down to it we only have one of each of these which is kind of a problem we only have one secret password um i think we have what we have no homes we do we have three sunny stitch so live trends in kind of a place so i'm actually thinking for the craft we go back to altar guys because it's our most near complete thing and we are just going to straight up craft memory game that's one of my crafts okay that's the extra craft from memory Gant. that takes it out of rotation we cannot craft any more um with the two other crafts we cannot have to we can't craft extra deck stuff it has to be main deck stuff so, but we unlocked Electron Illusions, where we'll open 10 for Smog UK. Here we go. So, what we want here, guys. Remember, again, we, have one of, we want the other multi-faker. We want secret passwords. Uh, the evil trends. Marionetter. Uh, homes would be big. Another personal spoofing, because we've opened this thing so much. Personal spoofing hates us. Um, we only play one Kakuri, but having a third one would be bad. Um, but, yeah. So... 10 packs let's open it and find out what we get well this is a super rare heavy pack which isn't bad because we do need marionetters as well as a lot of the super rare so side frame uh circuit that's location staff okay pain gainer ggez camouflage dagoron and sakil we are i'm mainly looking at the rare slot for uh personal spoofing uh, Konkari, I guess, would cool be cool three early on, but not really much for that. Lavalvo Ignis, generic three card attack during your turn. You can detach, gain five. Oh, to the end of the turn? What? That sucks. Why? Ooh, ooh, whatever. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Treat. Back Supervisor, Boo Boo Game, and Frost. Alright, here's our first super. Please be in the pack. Please in the pack. Please be in the pack. It is in the pack. Okay. Echo Fleur, Crawler, Ravier, Fang, Tribe Hunter, Devron, Falangi, Pukuri, and Twin, our first home, Live Twin home. That's big. Um, let's keep going. These, su these super things may set up Live Twin more than I want, but. Dreadmaster. Oh, Shadal Fusion. That's interesting. Reese and Augusto. Cute. Uh, form change, channel, supervisor, pro oh, protocol. Wait, didn't we need a third protocol? Was it? No, it was camouflage. I know we need personal spoofing. Detonation code, guy of the fierce knight, umbral world, risp, prime banshee, Kaldoga, treat, and prime banshee. If we go through another episode of not getting a third spoofing, I'm gonna flip. Bow, delta, reorigin, big bandage. Secretary, secretary, and both the kids, or the twins. I was, I was saying kids, because I was thinking about the prank kids. Ah, Junk Blader, Glowing Crossbow, Cookie Valifar, Pixel, Marionetta, that's big, that's a second Marionetta. Let F, Treat, and Super Heavy Samurai Ogre, Shoot and Doji. Okay, so the Super so far haven't been bad. They've been stuff we actually can use and not extras. Plague Spreader Zombie, that's big. Blaster, String Jijin, Light and Right, Jack Ron, Fail Over. The third Marionetter, that's big. And Kiska. No third spoofing. What in the world is going on with spoofing, guys? It's like not wanting to show up. Be in the pack, be in the pack, be in the pack. Oh, it's only one in the pack. This is, could be so bad. Shinyu, 
Colt Wing Channel Challenge. Here we go. Mel you seek. I think that's our fourth. Barbaros and Draco Berserker of the Tenny. Oh, that's awesome. That's a big pickup for the live twin slash evil twins. That's a big pickup. I mean, just being a good eight, that's generic in general, but I mean. Draco Berserker of the Tenny is a great eight to pick up. Okay, there's a, a chance for us to end on a good, another good super. Duke, Retaliate, and these three need, one of them needs to be personal spoofing. Charmer Shabit, Prophecy Destroyer, Pixel, Keldoga, Challenged. Oh my god, no spoofing. And this is another Melusik, man. Why do we get so many Melusiks? Yeah, we own like freaking 10 million or oh, 5 million six. It's not even funny. But all right, that is the five packs there, guys. Now, does that change my craft for this week? Technically, yes, and technically, no. So if we go alter, right? Alter. We have one multi faker, one memory gant. We have the three marionetters. We have three siliqui. Five mel you seek, oh my. Uh, Hextia, Fuji Alert. The only thing we're missing is a spoofing. Do I craft the third spoofing? No, I do not. But we still have two other crafts. M either spell, trap, or monster. So, for the craft for the monster, we are actually gonna generate and craft another multi-faker. So we have two. The last one we are going to craft is, now I was debating about when it comes down to it, I want to try to play Altergeist. Not pulling the third spoofing does make me want to do it, but I feel like that could be a waste. Just because, well, we'll probably open more of those packs anyways, so what's the point, you know? And I don't know if you guys agree. Let me know if you agree down below. But I feel like we'll be going back into that pack one way or another, right? So when it comes down to it, I'm thinking, well, what can we do here? Well, there's a couple cards we can go for. We can go for a another Imperm. We can go for Anti-Spell Fragrance. We could go for Rivalry Warlords. Um, we have everything else, right? There's Solemn Judgment. But the real question is, is how far do we push it? Do we also go for maybe another Strike, right? So I was actually debating about it. And I do think I want the diversity of going for a Strike. That will be our third and final craft. Which does, funny enough, unlock our one free pull for Guardians of the Sacred Sky. Now in here, we can get another Judgment, another Strike, which would be useful. Could always get a Warning. That's not the worst. There's other Scoldings, which isn't that great, Divine Wrath, but the mainly it's traps out of this we'd want. So one free pull, can we pull something? I don't think so. I don't think we can get anything out of this, but we do open the free pack, so let's crack it open. Oh, there is a Super, Psychic Fruver, Cannon, Marincess, Mandarin. Shadow Tune, Venus Beckoning Light, and Sacred Arch, Arc, Ar yeah, Arch, Arc, Air Knight. Crush, I'm moving on. Didn't get anything useful. So, guys, this is the deck we ran last time. Do we have enough traps to actually try to put together Alter Guys? Well, you'll find out. I'll be right back with the deck list we'll be playing with this episode. So you just saw part one of this episode. I usually record it in two parts. Part one is usually the pack opening and showcasing the deck of what it was last episode before I reveal the new deck and the duels in part two. This is the format we've done for a while. Now, while episode 23 will introduce a lot of changes, we're not there yet. And episode 22, unfortunately, is the end of an era and it ends in a really sour note. 
in between recording part one and part two, my grandmother, who I take care of, who I'm a home carried for, who is like the head of my family, she's she's that you know person that keeps us together, was rushed to emergency room, and I'll get into this in more detail. But let's just say it's not good; it's cancer, and I can get more detail um, for the tag vlog, but. It's still COVID protocols are still going where you can only have a limited number of people in a hospital at a time. So obviously I stayed at home. I was doing other things and trying to keep my mind off it because we didn't know what was going on. So I decided to record part two. Problem is not only did I not hit start recording on OBS, I also did not, um, I didn't even record it. But two, I let all my frustration and anger out. So I'm kind of glad I didn't record it because it would have been wildly um, not even fun. And so I want to go over this. The First off, you'll notice instead of just saying Master Redemption, deck one, Altergeist. All right, guys. So this is a deck that we actually used. Uh, one Driver, one Crow, Triple Melusik, one Pukri, one Maxi, one Gamma, two Sil. Uh, one Ash, double multi, triple Marionetta, one Scythe, one Konkari, one Gamma Seal, one Lord of the Heaven Prison, one Nibiru, Regeki, Monster Born, Lightning Storm, and Forbidden Chalice, a small spell lineup, and then Ring of Destruction. Now, I actually did not know this card ever got an errata. I didn't realize I had two of them, by the way. When I saw it, I clicked one into the deck, but I also wanted the deck to be at 42 slash 43 cards. But in one of my duels, and I do want to say this is preferencing the future i didn't know wing of destruction got errata this kind of makes me mad i love this card and i don't mind the activate one per turn thing i hate that it has to be opponent's turn opponent face up monster i hate that this got in errata this disappoints me this is a this is the type of changes that i think hurts Yu-Gi-Oh. because i understand the opponent's turn i understand one per turn but don't limit it to opponents. Come on. We, people need outs, especially with how much lo stupid locks are in the game. Ring of Destruction could be a, a problem solver, and it's not. Um, double tribute, uh, torrential tribute. <clears throat> what? I wanted to find tra uh, traps that could actually fill the void because we don't have all the best traps. And uh, yeah, I didn't have many, so I went uh, Void Trap Hole, Double Trap Hole, Olenoides, uh, Trap Hole Spikes, Network Trap Hole. The one imperm, one judgment, double scolding, even though this kind of contradicts what we're trying to do. One strike, double protocol, and double spoofing. I'm sad we don't have triple personal spoofing, but we have to do what we have to do. Uh, interesting to note, some key cards that made me lose matches. Gamma Seal and Wing of Destruction. Um, but yeah, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, extra deck is Warlord Savage, uh, Draco Berserker the Tenny, Link Karibo, Kaleik Musician, Triple Altergeist Hestia, one Keldoga, one Lambda, one Daybreak the Shining Magician, one Oscar the Earth Charm Removable. Even though it's unlikely we'd ever summon this because I think Kangari and Maxi are the only Earths. Uh, Artifact Dagda, uh, one Prime Banshee, one Memory Gant, and the one Access Code Talker. Now, I'm not going to replay all the duels. And. I am going to show you the decks that were used. I'm not going to replay them all because they weren't that great. So as you can see on the four duels, we lost three and won one. Now, in the original recording, I stated that for every win I picked up, I would control two crafts. And every loss, another comment would control a craft. So the top light comment does control a craft automatically. But that means up to three other comments can control crafts guys but those are randomly chosen uh so let's just go into this really quick um the first opponent i'm not going to replay it it was eldritch it was eldritch you know me i hate eldritch i don't think eldritch is fun at all and uh i literally got the worst hand imaginable why they got the best hand imaginable um it wasn't even fun i i quit like i said it shows here three turns it just it i knew it i they went first, they set, they activated everything, got multiple elders, got skill drain, blah, blah, blah. I draw. I didn't even see an altergeist in my hand. 
It was it was absolutely this match was horrible, and that's why I'm not replaying it. The win was against um it wasn't great to be honest. Like even if I even if I replay this duel, um like even though it was a win for us, I I also went into this without fully learning Altergeist or any lines or anything. I just wanted to experience the deck. So I did misplay. I mean, the, I didn't sing a single Altergeist in the thing. But here, like this, I was like, okay. So, you know, summon um, Memorgant, set protocol, even though I had the other protocol. And set for a back row opponent's turn. I was like, okay. They summoned, and I activated protocol just to be like, okay, cool. They had Junk Synchron. My turn, I draw. Oh, now we're trap hole. Set, hit. Opponent just scooped. Right. I think they just absolutely had nothing. So at this point, we go into this match. And now this match, I just want to show you the deck. Yeah, it was an Exodia. Um, where are you? Crooked Cook deck, and he got Crooked Cook out. Now here's the problem, and I'm talking problem with the my deck is first turn he activated final countdown he then he then he got crooked cooked out and that was it that's all he really did for the whole match for me i i got to a point where i didn't read and this is my fault but i still hate the errata i got it ready where i was thinking oh i can ring a destruction my own guy to win it because i i i kept hitting him over with melu seek eventually he had to take crooked cook and stop him um, you know, he had to go in and swing at the, uh, the Melu Seeks, but I was waiting for my one Gamma Seal. Well, I tried to go through my deck as much as possible, um, and I'm not going to show you this duel because it's long, it's just him sitting behind Crooked Cook, and let's just say Gamma Seal was at the bottom of my deck, and I lost. Not fun. Not a, not a fun match. I I honestly thought I had game when I had a ring. I activated it, and I didn't realize the thing. And I just yeah, I scooped at that point because that was the only way. Because I realized Gamma Seal wasn't going to be drawn in time. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it was. It wasn't going to be pretty. Uh, and this last one. Um, it was this blue eyes deck. Now, what's interesting about this? is um he got tyrant out and why i was able to keep trying to poke and dodge and once tyrants out i have nothing in my deck that can actually beat this card that i could sustainably get out and so he ended up winning it wasn't a long duel because you know six turns um you know i think it was he once he got tyrant out it was a loss so Honestly, that's those are the duels, guys. So three crafts for random comments on the video. Obviously, top like comment also. So that's four crafts from the comment section. And then we have the win, which control means I control two crafts. And with only one win, that does only put us to seven out of ten of the next secret selection packs. Um, but yeah, guys, that that was the ranked. Um, Honestly, I do want to say I uh, I was horribly disappointed uh, with the way that turned out. It felt, it felt like every deck the the I hate Eldritch. Everyone knows that, but I hated that my hand, my hand opening hand against Eldritch, I think literally was Nib, which was dead. I think I had Scythe, Chalice. DD Crow. I remember DD Crow because I was able to DD one of the Eldritch. But yeah, there was not enough. I had none of the uh, actual Altergeist monsters, and my traps were. God, what was my trap? I think it was Imperm. And I was like, oh, cool. I have nothing to interact with. And. Um. Yeah, because he went into the um, Gustav. To you know, he combined both the elders linked, uh, ex uh, overlaid into the cannon and hit me for 2k. And I did he crowed when he detached the other one, uh, but he was just able to bring out the third Eldritch. And I was like, I you know, what? I think I'm dead, so that's why I just I quit that. I hate Eldritch, and um, 
yeah. And then, honestly, it was absolutely it was absolutely horrible. The uh, Crooked Crook match, it wasn't fun. Uh, Ring Destruction disappointed me. I didn't know about the errata. Mel Seek actually came in pretty handy. I got my opponent down to 2,500. But he wasted, he wasted both his call by the graves to banish him. And then I only had one, and I kept trying to bring it back to hit for damage. So, it was a, uh, it was an issue. I kind of wish I threw, um, Magic Cylinder in. But I don't think Magic Cylinder works because you have to target the attacking monster. And I don't think you can. See, that's the problem with here. Is... I noticed against Crooked Crook. Crooked Crook says he's unaffected by other um, other effects. So I think Magic Cylinder wouldn't have helped there. But my problem was Conquery doesn't target him. It just negates the attack. And yet it didn't work. Like I don't know if maybe I'm thinking that wrong. But in my head, this isn't targeting the monster. This is just negating the attack itself. That isn't the monster. It's the attack it's targeting which I think is a separate interaction. So the fact he didn't negate this attack, which would have saved one of my Mali Seeks, which would have given me a chance to win before he banished it. Um, I hate it. I absolutely hated it. Um, so yeah, honestly, guys, when it comes down to it, we went one and three. Um, and episode 23, we'll see massive changes. I'm, I'm excited for that. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to get this out here really quick. Um, you know, I just, I I plan to try to get this edited today. And um, so I am hoping I will be able to, you know, get that done. But, guys, um, yeah, sorry if this one, the duels, I mean, I'm kind of glad you didn't see the duels, guys. They weren't fun. Uh Seeing no Altergeist monsters against Eldritch wasn't fun. Sitting behind Crooked Cook, uh, dude quitting after three turns, and the other match was getting an opponent who was resistant to spell traps, and he also used... Um, I, w I was dead just because he had... Uh, even though I could d stop the blue eyes, his uh, his dragon just kept hitting over me. Um, and I was, I just wasn't getting anything. Um, yeah, no, trust me. It was, uh, it was not fun, but, um, honestly, guys, I, uh, promised in the second recording that didn't get recorded that I would learn all the lines. So by the time this goes up versus when 48 hours passes and the comments are picked and the crafts are chosen, I'm going to spend that time learning Altergeist. Okay, guys. So that time, next episode, episode 23, we'll see changes to the series, new rules, and me actually knowing how to play this deck. And hopefully with the final crafts, we can add to this. And just to let you guys know for the live twin, um, we have plenty of like all the twins. We did get, um, where is it? We did get one home. We still only have one secret password for the evil twin. You know, we have Kiss Kill Lila. We have two Kiss Kill, one Lila there. Um, yeah, I feel like we are definitely moving forward, but yeah, guys, episode 23 will reveal everything. And I hope you like the new rules. And uh, I'll see you then, guys. Uh, tag out.